Hey everybody, it's Jeff Boncore Coatings here. It's uh, May 14th, 2020. I want to do a quick quick little video here about cantilever copings and bull nose copings. Uh, if you don't have these at home, here's a picture of one. If you don't have this at home, you don't have to watch this video, but this is a common occurrence that we run across in the pool deck world. And I get a lot of questions about how to not only clean and prep these with our triple crown cleaner, but also how you go about applying the coating on this vertical edge without getting cleaner or coating into your pool, okay? I got a few tips and tricks for you that might make your life a little easier, okay? So first things first, if you have this vertical edge cantilevered coping that runs right up to the water line and above your tile, um, you, first things first, you're gonna have to prep the whole deck using our Triple Crown product and then pressure wash that away. A lot of people ask me, hey, I have this cantilevered coping. When I use Triple Crown, well, if it gets in my water, is it going to negatively affect my pool water chemistry? Short answer there is no. Of course, you don't want to spill an entire gallon of Triple Crown into your pool, but um, if a little bit of overspray gets in there, no big deal. If a little bit of drainage goes in there, no big deal. Just keep in mind that the Triple Crown is going to be carrying with it a lot of oils, a lot of dirt, contaminants, stuff that you don't want on there when you're pressure washing it away. So of course, rinse it away from the pool if you can. Um, but four things that Triple Crown will harm, okay, and that you need to know about Triple Crown, and that is vegetation, pretty flowers, tile, glass, and aluminum. And there's commonly, commonly found, you, you find tile right by this uh, cantilever coping. So if you were to apply Triple Crown on that vertical edge, you, no doubt about it, you're getting some in your pool and you're getting some on your tile. So just don't, just bypass the Triple Crown application on this vertical edge. Just be extra diligent with a straight up pressure washing there and you're gonna be good to go. And that's gonna be fine because this vertical edge does not get any foot traffic. It does not get as much UV exposure. It's not as vulnerable to the elements. So just a good pressure washing here will be fine for you. And then you eliminate the risk of that trickle crown dripping on the tile and into your pool water, okay? So after you triple crown, you let that dry, you pressure wash it away, you wait 24 hours, and then you're ready to mix up some product and get out there and start cutting in, you know, cutting in around the house and doing your uh, the vertical edge of your cantilever. Okay, I'm gonna show you this picture here. This is a um, this is a job. I love this job, man. It's it's a it's a great showcase for our two tone custom two tone knockdown texture that you can do with our product if you choose to. Most people just roll out two coats and seal it for a monotone finish, but this is an awesome job where they rolled out two coats of this dark red and then followed it followed it up with this amber color on top which was shot through a hopper gun troweled for a knockdown finish um, looks great it's like a venetian look i love it uh, anyway if you look closely by this cantilever edge they have attached not only tape to to the underside of the nose or the, the coping onto the tile they ran some tape down there but they also attached some bubble wrap to the tape so that bubble wrap is you know 18 inches wide or so and it's floating out into the water and not only does this catch drips from where they rolled two base coats of red it's also going to catch drips if they if they're spraying that uh, amber color on that nose on that coping so uh that the bubble wrap trip i'll, I'll show you a little uh, a better picture of that but um, the bubble wrap trick there which will catch any drips okay but when you're when you're applying the coating to this vertical edge definitely go with like a mini roller one of those little handheld four inch rollers cigar rollers hot dog rollers is what we sometimes call them super handy to have on the job not only for the coping but in other areas so have some brushes on hand but if you have this vertical edge do that with a roller uh, to uh, a mini roller to prevent drips okay I think that's all I got for you guys here um, this is a very common question, so I just wanted to do this this video, and we just want you to have something you'd love out there. So I hope you know these videos help you guys out. If you have any additional questions, of course, give us a shout. EncoreCoatings.com. Uh, office number is 888-776-2242. Again, 888-776-2242. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.